So my surgery is two weeks today and I'm going in for my final pre-op appointment with some nurses and just checking the size. And I'll take you guys along with me. So I'm gonna try on my size again by putting in the implants into like a bra and then trying the bra on. So um, what I'm gonna get you to do is stack the two on top of each other. Yep. When you pop it in the bra, if you pop the little wing to As you saw, I got to like try on my size again. I'm super happy with it. I was thinking like, oh, is it a little bit small? Should I go bigger? Will I regret not going bigger? And then when I retried on the size today, I was like, no, like this is good. Like this is big enough for me for sure. And I asked all of the questions that I had, like when can I drive? When do you recommend I work out? How long do I have to keep the tapes on? Uh, I can't shower like my upper body for a week afterwards. Like you can't get the chest area wet. So I probably won't be washing my hair or doing anything like that crazy for a week, which will probably make me a little bit uncomfortable. I had read that you have to sleep sitting up, but she said like just a slight incline is fine. So that's perfect. And a week should be sufficient to take off work. And yeah, I got to like feel the implants again, go through everything. Um, my admission time is 11 a.m., which to be honest, I would have rather like the earlier in the morning, the better. So my actual surgery will be around like 1 p.m. And I should be, it actually only takes like 60 minutes or less sometimes for the actual surgery. And then like a couple of hours for me to wake up from anesthesia. So yeah, should be all done by like 5 p.m. So yes, I literally am so excited. Like I cannot, cannot wait. And I guess I will see you guys when I'm heading into the hospital in two weeks time. Oh my God. Bye. Right, we're two for two over here. Let's see if we're four for four. Ooh. Ooh. I love the one like the hard side of runny. Perfect. No runny white here. Coffee. Today is the Boob day. day. Boob day. I just woke up a little while ago. I'm not looking cute. My skin is just having a moment right now and I have no idea why. How cute are my nails? Got them done yesterday. So we've just finished breakfast. I'm nil by mouth from 6.40 and that's in like 10 minutes. So I need to finish my coffee and have a drink of water and then that's me done for the day. Skinny! I still need to pack my meds and my clothes and finish the last lot of folding and washing, get everything sorted for the week where I will just be lying right there on the couch doing absolutely nothing. I'm so excited. I am a little bit nervous, but like, I'm just excited. Like it's come really quickly. Like I booked this in probably about a year ago. Ooh. Bye boobies. So I'm just gonna get my pre-op information booklet and just like have a read through it. Make sure I don't forget anything because I was about to like get dressed and just chill, but then I remembered they give you these things that you have to like have a shower and like wash yourself with. It's like special soap uh, on a sponge and it like gets rid of all of the bacteria and oils that build up on your skin. So it's 10 past eight and I'm really thirsty and I'm kind of hungry. I'm just upstairs in like a living space because my cleaner is downstairs in my apartment and I'm going to start reading The Lost Symbol, which is the third Robert Langdon book. Of mm, just lips. The only regret I have is not keeping on my clothes because we're moving. So I'm heading to the hospital. I'm just wearing a jumper and some comfy jeans and like a button down top for afterwards. So I'm just in like a little pre-op room and I just had to do a rapid antigen test. I just got changed and I'm wearing my robe and my compression socks. No DVT for me. They're actually not that tight and like not that uncomfortable. And a heated blanket. Um, no, so Danny will come and see you here. Phil will come and see you here. Mm -hmm. Fiona, who is Phil's assistant, will come and see you here. Mm -hmm. We'll just put some kind of brasserie thingy on. Ooh. It's easy to put it on now with you helping them after. Okay. With it afterwards. Uh, she may or may not. It depends on which ones they're using. Um, 
And you'll hear some noises on the ceiling, a bit like Avon calling, which just means we're moving the patients around. Cool. Feeling nervous, excited. I'm just in pre-op, um, waiting for the anaesthetist to come and put sharp things in me, put me to sleep. And then they're gonna put some poops in my chest. Just turn my markings put on. And recovery. I'm so tired. I'm feeling a little bit loopy. I have such a dry mouth. But other than that, like no pain, nothing. I just got dressed again. And my mum is about to pick me up. And hopefully I can have a snack because I'm super hungry. Just got home and they're looking pointy to be expected um again like not in pain as such like i had my my cannula removed and that hurt a lot more than anything else going on they're a little bit firm to touch but yeah i'm just yeah feeling like kind of out of it a little bit and like quite tired but yeah they look so pointy but this is not what they look like like it takes a, at least six weeks for them to fluff and drop and look like normal boobs but so far it's all looking symmetrical so that's great i'm just gonna chill so i got a little post-op baggie and it has a little info booklet in it with lots of information about when to take the meds so i just took an antibiotic right now and i also took a coloxal which is like a very mild laxative and just lots of like questions about when you can like exercise and what you can do like when you can work out and that kind of thing. So here are my antibiotics. Here's my coloxal because when you take hard painkillers like Endone, there is like a constipation effect. So we've got some paracetamol, some tape, and these little things that I need to put in the freezer. And they're sort of like an ice pack and you just sort of put them around the breast, around the nipple area. So I'm gonna put them in the freezer right now. And I also got some bio oil. Obviously, I don't use this one until after my post-op appointment, which is on Thursday. And that's when I get my thick compression bra. So it's about 10 to 5. I woke up about 2.30. I'm having a little yogurt pouch right now. Not because I'm hungry, but because my throat and mouth are so, so dry. Probably had a liter of water since I've been home. And like, I can't seem to like soothe this throat. It feels like I've got like a really, really, really bad cold. So hopefully this will like lubricate my throat a little bit. My little ice packs on, I'm still not in any pain. My throat is not good as like, not good. I'm just having some Messina ice cream, my favorite ice cream in the entire world. It's the super dolce de leche. And I'm still feeling really tired, but not like I could sleep. So I'm probably just going to watch some Netflix. Three, Grey's Anatomy. Just put my ice packs back on. It's normal that they look like this funny shape. Again, like my only symptom is like a really sore throat and like a hoarse voice. Leah's just getting me some like throat lozenges and some Panadol. Um, but yeah, like not really any breast pain. It's it's more discomfort. It's gradually becoming a little bit uncomfortable. I'm just gonna have some chocolate. I'll probably go to sleep soon. Aren't you the best? Yes. It's gonna put my hair in a braid for me because it's kind of annoying. So I'm getting kind of tired. I'm getting ready for bed at the moment. My throat is so so sore. Um, it feels like I had tonsillitis. It's bad. And my periorbital dermatitis is like really really flaring up. So I'm not looking very good. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I literally got it from using this product. I got it from using this lash serum. I don't think I can find it, but it's like lash therapy or something it's called. And yeah, I've never had dermatitis in my life and I got dermatitis from using a lash serum, so that sucks. And it's just like stuck around for like over a week, even though I stopped using it straight away. Um, so I've just got like my ice packs in at the moment. At the moment, I, it must be that I'm currently numb because like I can lift my arms, like I literally feel fine. It feels like a little bit tight. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's not painful at all and it doesn't bother me, but over the last like probably hour or so it's feeling a little bit more uncomfortable but definitely not painful i also noticed that i've got lots of these little needle pricks on like my upper breast and that's from like top like local anesthesia so my doctor was like really mindful about like my pain after the procedure which is nice 
So these aren't cold anymore, so I'm just gonna plop these out. And yes, I, I, I sound like a broken record, but like this is not what it's gonna look like when it's healed. Like, this, this isn't real. I'm just gonna cleanse my face. Again, I don't wanna make my face like angry. So I am just gonna use like a Cetaphil sensitive skin cleanser and then just a Cetaphil moisturizer as well. Welcome to Rosie's Pharmacy. <laughs> so right now I'm, I'm just gonna have a Paloxyl, which is a little mild laxative before I go to bed. Um, and I'm also gonna take one of these um, antibiotics, which are four times a day. I've already taken Panadol, so I won't be due for Panadol if I need it until about 10 o'clock. Strepsils, because my throat is killing me for some reason. And I do have some opioids in here that I'm just gonna leave out in case I wake up in the middle of the night in unbearable pain, which fun fact actually happened to me the last three times I went under general anesthetic, afterwards, after the surgery, I'm like, fine, exactly how I am now. I can lift my arms. Could I honestly could like go for a jog. Like I feel completely normal, other than the fact I have a sore throat. Anyway, I'm sure it hopefully will go tomorrow, but I am just a little bit cautious because I remember when I had my appendix done, I was totally fine. I was eating. I had like two dinners at the hospital because the food was so good where I got my appendix taken out. And then I woke up panicking at about 10 p.m., um, freaking out because I was in so much pain and the pain was like radiating up my body and it felt like pressure and I and I felt like really sharp pains around my chest. And I literally thought I was having a heart attack and no one sort of warned me about the gas that you can experience and like the gas pains when you have laparoscopy. So that was a bit scary and sort of a similar thing with my tonsils as well. I was like completely numb and felt so fine afterwards. Had like had a full meal after my tonsils, which like is really random and like not not very common. And then I had like ice cream and, and whatever. And then I was just really tired. So I went to bed and again, like after a few hours, woke up in a lot of pain, like needed um, tramadol, needed opioids. And even then, like, I don't think I really respond very well to opioids. They tend to not really mask my pain, but just make me really, really tired and really groggy. Like I don't enjoy the high of opioids whatsoever. Um, and it does make me like really constipated. So hence I am upping my coloxal before I even take any opioids, if I even take any at all. So really just like a precaution to like keep me regular. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and get some sleep. I'm intrigued about the placement of the implant, whether it's uh, under the muscle, over the muscle. Mine is above the muscle, subglandular. There's a little bit of literature to say, basically the recovery time is a bit shorter, uh, for people who have it above the muscle because it's not as harsh on the body and that's something that I really didn't want. I did not want my, my pec muscle to have to stretch over an implant. So I wonder if that's why I'm not in any pain and can like lift my arms and I feel okay or if it's a fluke or if I have a high pain threshold or if I'm still just all numb and it's it's coming. So I'll keep you guys updated. So I'm all like tucked in. I have everything I need. Got my water bottle and my book and some painkillers and I am going to sleep on the couch just because I kind of feel more comfortable here. Um, I'm more comfortable sitting up here than I would be like sitting in bed if I was in bed. I would just want to lie down. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy. I'm wanting to sleep on the couch. Um, and Leah will just sleep in our bed and I'll just holler at him if I need anything. So yeah, I'm just going to try and get some sleep and I will update you if anything crazy happens in the night. See you tomorrow otherwise. Good morning. We are one day post-op. Surprisingly, I slept pretty well last night actually it didn't bother me to have to lie on my back at an incline overnight i think maybe i woke up once um but like still in no pain feeling really good no bruising or anything i can definitely feel that the local has worn off and it's not pain but like i can feel um it sort of feels like i've done the chest workout of my life and that i've been like wrapped up in like some kind of shapewear or like bandage even though like i'm not i'm like hardly even wearing anything i'm wearing like loose cotton it feels like sort of like just really tight around there um but honestly like it's not it's not uncomfortable um and i was definitely gonna play today by ear just stay on the couch and read or just sleep if i wanted to but honestly like i'm fine so i'm going to um, work a little bit this morning I'm gonna study some gamsa and just see how I feel like I'm not pressuring myself to to study like I'm I'm just trying to you know make valuable use of my time I just because of like the the muscle I guess pressure and yes probably it's soreness um, 
and it just it feels really really tight i'm just gonna take some paracetamol make a coffee and i'm just cleaning my engagement ring and i'm gonna pop that one back on i wasn't allowed to wear any jewelry during my surgery so i just take everything out so i just had some curry for lunch and i'm looking a bit flushed actually i'm gonna have two panadol two lollies just because it's not really getting any worse it's still just like a little bit I don't know, uncomfortable, and I think it will just help. I'm also going to put my ice packs back on. I just had a call from the doctor's room saying, how are you getting on, and are you using your antibiotics, and are you using your ice? And I said, yeah, I'm using it, like, probably every three hours. And she's like, oh, try and use it every hour. And I was like, but how do I get it to freeze then? So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to put my ice packs back on. The lower part of my breast, just below my nipples, is still numb completely, but my nipples themselves like haven't lost sensation, like they're not numb or anything. So I'm just going to read my book for a little while, I'm sort of alternating between like sitting and then like sort of lying on my back on an incline and standing. But I have just started the third book in the Dan Brown series and I really like it so far. So it's 20 to 6 at night and I think I just slept for about four hours on the couch, which was a very long time. Ugh, good people. I, I sort of feel a little bit like average in the stomach, like not quite nauseous, but just like not very good. And I don't know if it's because I've all I've had today to eat is the curry just before lunchtime. So I'm just having some green juice and some strawberries because I'm just craving like some like fresh food. And yeah, I'm just sort of feeling like a bit of a waste man. I would love to have a shower right now. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I'm going to maybe have a bath, but just have the water obviously like at my hip height because I can't obviously get the dressings wet. So I think that's probably a good idea. Leo just made me this little snack board. Isn't it so fun? And I'm just gonna start editing this vlog. In grade school, we made the biggest and the best volcanoes, which erupted actual fake molten lava. I'm feeling slightly more uncomfortable than I was yesterday. Uh, like, I just, I cannot get comfortable. Like, I don't want to stand up. I don't want to sit down. I don't want to lie down. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that, like, I haven't had a shower. Maybe that, like, relaxes me. But I'm just, like, not feeling great. But, like, not in any pain. Like, I'm fine. We are just, we just had yummy dinner that Leo made and we're going to play Five Second Rule, which is one of my favorite games. It's like a quick, easy, fun time. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. We are two days post-op. I didn't sleep as well last night as I did the previous night. No pain still, but just like discomfort. I just want to lie down and not be elevated I sort of want to like lie on my side obviously I'm not I was a little bit bad and took off my compression socks I spoke to the nurse she called me yesterday and she was like try and keep them on if you're not walking around and I'm like sis I'm walking around I'm living life like usual so I took them off um and today I'm just going to be chilling at home doing some work and I'm actually hoping to go back into uni on Friday because I have no reason not to I feel fine and I put up on my Instagram like questions you guys have, everything from like size, placement, brand, hospital, payment plan, size before, size after. And that in itself is going to be like at least a 20 minute video. So I'm going to do a separate like sit down, talk about my experience and my frequently asked questions in the next video. So this is more of just like vlog style and then I'll do like a sit down probably like a week on. So and I'll, go, I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is what I'm looking like at the moment. So this was immediately after one day post-op. And then hopefully in my next video, I will show you guys what one week post-op looks like. And it will not look like this straight away. It takes quite a while for them to drop into place. I have already answered a whole bunch of questions on my Instagram. And I do have a little highlight reel of literally like everything boob job related. Um, and I've answered a whole bunch of questions. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead. Um, but yeah, I will check in with you guys later today. So I just woke up from another very long nap. And basically my entire left breast is in completely numb, but my right is not, which is very strange. Just put my ice packs back on and I'm just going to chill and upload this video. I'm just going to wrap this up here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.